What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another general message for the Collective. How's everybody doing? Hopefully good. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance in our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So what's up, fam? Uh, hopefully everyone is doing well, feeling blessed and highly favored. Uh, happy Easter, you know, Resurrection Sunday. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. You've enjoyed your weekend. We're going to get into the cars. We're going to see uh, who's in collective energy. Um, anything we don't see coming. Any updates or progress on our, our cur uh, current situations? <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. And excuse the do-rag. You know, I got to keep the waves on swim. But yeah, it's Sunday. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm wearing a do-rag, people. <laughs> but hopefully you guys are doing good. You're feeling good. Uh, we're going to get to the cards. I have pre-shuffled. I'm going to pull overall energy from the What's the Tea Oracle. And then I got a new tarot deck. Um, this one is the Anime Tarot Deck and Guidebook. Which, if anybody knows me, I love anime. Anime. Um, so, yeah, we're going to use this deck. It's my first time using it. But I've pre-shuffled. Shuffled really good. Uh, let's get into it. Hooked. Travel reverse. Unbothered reverse. Broke ass. <laughs> okay, we hit. Oh, goodness. Ego and rejected popped out. Okay, I'm, I feel called to take ego. Oh, man, you know, we take both of them. Ego and rejected. Okay, so yeah, you have ego and rejected. Uh, hurt ego, ego getting in the way of relationships, etc. And then rejected. Maybe somebody's ego is hurt because they're rejected or because they've been rejected from something. That's really what I get. Okay, so uh, for overall, we have hooked, travel reverse, unbothered reverse, broke ass, ego. Um... First one out is hooked. You know, this may, uh, somebody may be stuck in something. Hooked. You know, somebody could be hooked on something. Hooked on phonics. I don't know. <laughs> uh, somebody could be hooked. They're stuck on something. I kind of feel like stuck because when I glance at the bottom of the deck, eight of swords, like somebody's stuck in something. They could be hooked. Like, you know, somebody, somebody didn't got that ass. Like, they're stuck in something, stuck in a situation, stuck in a lie. I don't know. Uh, hooked. Prince of Cups, reverse. Queen of Cups, reverse. The magician, the magician, and I was followed by the high priestess. Mm. I always have the most trouble. So I have so much trouble with like brand new decks, and this is like literally like a brand new deck. Like I just just cracked this one. art oh gosh so this is one of those decks that has like other cards that mean like other things oh goodness i don't know what that means oh that is that's the temperance card okay i was like uh that's the temperance card Okay, so like somebody's hooked, somebody's stuck in like a situation. You have the Prince of Cups reverse, and then there's a Queen of Cups reverse. So these are two distorted energies. Uh, one masculine, one feminine. Prince of Cups. This could be somebody younger, could be somebody immature. Um, both of these energies could be temperamental, emotionally unstable. 
And that's kind of what I get. I feel like, you know, there are two distorted energies, a masculine and a feminine, that are stuck in a situation. They're stuck in something. They're bound to something. And, you know, they could be, like, really upset about it. I feel like these are two energies that are upset because you have manifested something. You know, those of you in High Priestess energy, you know, Queen of Cups upright energy, uh, you know, tapped in, um, highly intuitive. You could be a psychic, a medium, have any one of the clairs. You are manifesting the magician upright. And I feel like you're manifesting peace, serenity, uh, emotional balance. Uh, you know, temperance energy is like that, that earth angel energy. Um, you know, you see there's like this person pouring into their own cup. You know, so you've been manifesting peace, been manifesting being balanced. And I feel like there are two energies, a masculine and a feminine that, that are maybe upset about this. They're unstable because they're stuck in a situation. Meanwhile, you somewhere, you know, feet kicked up, drinking the drink, sipping a glass of wine or something. What is this? Woo. Okay, we have the tower and death popped out. Tower reverse. You avoided a permanent ending. There are two people, two energies that are really upset because you've manifested peace. Maybe manifested a new cycle. You avoided a tower moment, something that could have been like catastrophic. You know, a uh, painful permanent or not a painful permanent ending. A sudden drastic change is going to represent this could represent uh chaos <laughs> destruction um is bad you know towers ha are the god's way or the universe's way of balancing the scales they have to happen but this is uh this is a case where it could have been something like super catastrophic for you devastating for you and i feel like you've avoided it because you maintained some type of emotional stability you were balanced you know, say these are two like pesky, I get like past person and their karmic partner. Say these two hooligans were like trying to like, you know, get you to get out of character, get you to react to their bullshit, their low vibrational, dumb, just stupid, bum type of sh bullshit that they were doing. You know, you didn't react. You stayed balanced. I feel like for a lot of you throughout this whole ordeal, you've maintained emotional balance. You know, these people ain't got you out of pocket, pool. By doing that, you avoided a tower moment. Thus creating a permanent ending for somebody else. I feel like more or less a, a permanent ending to the bullshit. You know, these people getting a rise out of you. If they were somehow manifesting off of your energy, maybe your fear, you know, your anger, your, your you know, your sadness, whatever, however the, whatever the fuck these weirdos like to do. Y'all know they like to do some weird shit. Uh, yeah, you put an end to that death upright. I like guess over. Now, the only people distorted in this whole ordeal are them. They're the ones distorted. They're the ones hooked, stuck, and probably the ones mad, you know? While a lot of y'all are, like I said, feet kicked up, sipping a glass of wine, sipping you some grape juice, whatever the case. You know, you, you, you maintained emotional balance, and I feel like that created an ending for whatever type of game these people were playing. This could be a couple or a mother and a son, maybe. Queen of, Queen of Cups reverse, Prince of Cups reverse. You know, not King of Cups reverse, but the Prince of Cups reverse. This could be a mother and a son for somebody. This could be your past person and their karmic partner. You know, they mad. Shit, stay mad. Hater. <laughs> uh, next, we have travel reverse. Maybe somebody can't travel. Somebody's unable to travel right now. Somebody might not have a car. Somebody is on restriction. You know, they, they awaiting trial. They can't really leave right now. Uh, travel reverse. The sun reverse. Amen. Ah. And that the Empress was behind that, but I don't know if I should take that or not. The sun reverse. And it came out, so I'm going to take it. The Empress, upright. What's up, boo? Hi, love. <laughs> Empress, baby. The chariot reverse. Five of Swords, reverse. Five of Discs. Five, five. I've been seeing it a lot lately. Five, five. Five, five, five. five nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. Been seeing those. Seven, seven, two. 
Um, so yeah, there's somebody who can't travel. Maybe they can't travel towards you. This person, you know, they can't move towards you. I feel like they're really unhappy. They're stuck in a situation that is stagnant. You know, they can't travel. The sun reverse. This person could be really unhappy. Very unhappy. I get like an energy of just miserable. Stuck in a situation where there's nothing growing. There's no happiness. There's no joy. It just feels like it feels like prison, like jail. And whatever it is, it has something to do with you. You know, somebody's really unhappy because they can't travel towards the Empress. You know, the Empress, uh, this person is all four queens in one. Could be a man or a woman, but it's feminine energy. This person embodies abundance, creativity, fertility, uh, very abundant energy. You know, anything that this person puts their energy into or any one that they put their energy into, it flourishes, it prospers. That's why so many people want to be attached to you. That's why so many people try to exploit you. Steal your energy. Take your shit and go manifest elsewhere. Yeah, but somebody, uh, you know, right along with that travel reverse, we have chariot reverse. Chariot reverse, somebody can't. Maybe somebody's having car trouble. They don't have a car right now. They're without transportation. They can't travel towards you. Uh, this is a situation that's out of this person's control. And I feel like, you know, really what's out of their control is they've, you know, this is, uh, they've been defeated. Whatever game they were playing, whatever they were trying to do, you know, behind your back, deceptive with lies. And in a lot of cases, these people tried to win, you know, whatever delusional ass game they were playing with lies and manipulation. That shit's been exposed. They're defeated. You know, collective for a lot of you, this shit only worked as long as you were dumb and blind to it. Once a lot of you went through awakening, you woke up. I know uh, for a lot of us, and I know that because I've, you know, shared stories. You guys have shared with me and I've shared with you, a few of you uh, via email. And, you know, for a lot of us within the last three years, some point within the last three years, 2021, 22, 23, up until now, you guys have gone through an awakening. And what you've realized, some of you are still going, currently going through that awakening and you're seeing shit for what it is. You know, maybe shit that you didn't believe in before, you didn't think was real. You know it's real now. You know, but these people weren't banking on that. They weren't counting on that. You know, they wanted you to stay dumb, stay blind to the bullshit. And a lot of you have awakened. You've woke up. So this shit, you know, the lies, the manipulation, that shit doesn't work anymore because we see you creatures. We see y'all. Y'all can come on up out the bushes. We see y'all. five of uh five of discs <laughs> talks about poverty talks about an energy of lack going without not having things is right in line with one of these uh the overall energy we have broke ass five of pentacles and broke ass <laughs> man you know for a lot of these people it was about money whether this had to do with your inheritance or your money, your business, whatever the case, you know, uh, if they were just stealing your energy to go manifest, they were trying to manifest money. It's all about money to these creepy crawlers. That's all they care about. But yeah, now somebody's in an energy like they can't move towards you. They can't move, period. I feel like somebody might not have a car. They're having car issues and they're stuck in poverty. They're stuck in an energy of lack out in the cold from you. These cards, I swear. Brand new deck. I should have like really got to break these bad boys in. Okay. Five of discs. Five of swords. So somebody's defeated and, and, and broke. Two of wands reverse. King of Wands, it's in the upright. Uh, it's followed by a uh, head, Eight of Wands, right behind it. So, King of Wands, Eight of Wands. So, yeah, this person, you know, they can't move towards the Empress. This is somebody in King of Wands energy. King of Wands upright. This could be another energy that this maybe this Prince of Cups is carrying. Uh, this could be somebody else. I feel like this is somebody, this is the person that's in lack, you know, maybe struggling financially, uh, feeling defeated and unable to move forward right now. This person wants to communicate something. 
two of wands reverse they don't have like a plan this is somebody who does not have a plan they don't have a plan they don't ha have a strategy because they've already been defeated like they've already took the l but this is somebody who may want to communicate i happen to glance at the bottom of the deck the devil this person could be bound to the devil this person could be still in toxic energy they are in the upright king of wands uh this could be a leader of some sort spiritual leader you know this is the leader of the cult uh this could be you know the shift lead at wendy's uh i don't it's a leader of some sort uh they want to communicate something but they don't have a plan maybe they don't know how to come in and communicate this person could be in toxic energy though obsessive i just heard possessive which how exactly do you possess something that you released already because in a lot of cases this joker you know threw you to the wolves threw you up under the bus released you so how do you possess something that you released like if you release it it's no longer yours delusional i just heard it's so delusional eight of wands what is this eight of wands what are they trying to what are they trying to communicate, what are they trying to communicate? goodness these cards i need these broke in because i love the deck the artwork is really good but goodness cards sticking together nine of discs reverse the star strength reverse so this is somebody that you know they don't have a plan they don't have a strategy this is somebody that may want to communicate something to you they may want to communicate that they have lost something nine of pentacles reverses is a codependent energy somebody that can be codependent needy naggy insecure this person that has lost a job They've lost a title. They've lost a position. They've lost independence. They've lost some kind of money. Some status, I just heard. Status. Yeah, this person could have lost... Uh, Or this is happening quick. They're losing a status. They're losing status quick. And I, I see that. I feel that as well. Somebody could, you know, Eight of Wands, very quick moving energy. Can't, can't talk about quick communication, but this is just something fast moving. Like they're they're losing shit and they're losing it fast. I get that energy as well. It's King of Wands. Maybe because this person, it has something to do with what they did to you. The star. You know, you could be a star energy, star seed. What's up, fam? Uh, you could be, maybe you just shine like one. You could be in the public eye. Uh, strength reverse. This talks about a lack of strength, a lack of integrity, a lack of righteousness, a lack of loyalty. And I feel like somebody's losing shit for being disloyal to a star energy, maybe a star seed. You know, you're a child of the cosmos sent here to raise the vibrations and somebody wanted to, you know, throw you under the bus, decide to be disloyal to you, hurt or harm you. Yeah, understandably so. They're losing shit. <laughs> Just wasn't smart. Uh, unbothered reverse somebody is very bothered you know uh you know they're not chilling you know just tanning getting a look they're like they're somebody's pissed i feel the energy somebody's pissed maddie madeline hey maddie hey maddie uh -oh. unbothered reverse it's always mad king of swords Libra energy. There's a lot of energies here because I mean, I, for some, in some cases, this could, this masculine energy could be all, it could be carrying several different energies, but I really strongly feel like there are several different energies here. There's a lot of people involved already. You got two distorted energies that are pissed. They're upset because you manifested peace and you avoided a tower and it's a permanent ending for them. Like it's over. Goodbye. Then you have, you know, this potentially could be maybe the same energy or another energy. This person's upset and unhappy because they can't, they don't have forward movement right now. Whatever they were doing sneakily behind your back, it's been exposed. And they don't have forward movement. They're in the energy of lack, losing shit. Because this person was disloyal. They All, all they had to do was be loyal, have integrity, do the right thing. And they didn't. So now they don't have forward movement and they don't have shit to show for it. Five of Pentacles, poverty. Now we have the King of Swords. This person's triggered about something. King of Swords upright. Uh, Libra energy could be any sign. Masculine energy could be a man or a woman. This person's triggered about something. 
unbothered reverse. Uh, Ace of Wands. You want to be stupid. Okay, and then we have the Universe and Ten of Cups reverse. Which the Universe, this is like the World card. Ten of Cups reverse. Could be karmic family, but it's a lack of emotional fulfillment. You know, Ten of Cups upright is the ultimate emotional fulfillment. You know, happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy kids. Just, just this is what you want. Well, what what most people want. You know, regular people want. Uh, it's reverse. Two of Cups. So this King of Swords up is upright today. You know, they're walking on their feet today. Oh, no. Um, this is your past person. This is your past person. Um, I mean, one of these, uh, these other energies could be as well. But, uh, you know, take what resonates. Remember to take what resonates. Leave what does not. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. And remember to apply the roles where they fit. He could be a she. She can be a he. Et cetera, et cetera. This King of Swords is very much triggered. So much so that they're about to take action. King of Swords, Ace of Wands. They're about to take action. They're about to do something. Uh, whatever they're about to do, they have the intention of closing a cycle. King of Swords, Ace of Wands, the universe, which is the world. They're about to take some type of action and to close a cycle. To dead something. To be done with it. And I feel like whatever they're taking action to end or to close... It has something to do with karmic family. More than likely, their karmic family. You know, Ten of Cups reverse. Maybe they're releasing family. They've had karmic family that have been, you know, standing in the way of their destiny, their destined path, their happiness, whatever the case. This person is about to take some type of action to end that. I feel like they are releasing karmic family. Ten of Cups reverse for a relationship, a partnership. Maybe they deem this partnership, this Two of Cups, more valuable than their toxic ass family could be you know but i feel like they're releasing they're taking they're about to take some type of action they're triggered this person is pissed off maybe just mad at what their what their their, their current predicament what their situation has become two of cups the lovers reverse Princess of Wands, reverse. Prince of Swords. Ten of Wands. This is somebody, like I said, they're about to take some type of action to end a, 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 a karmic cycle of some sort. Maybe step away from karmic family. Uh, this is somebody that, you know, they want a two of cups. And if they, I feel like that two of cups, you know, they have to release a ten of a ten of cups situation, a karmic family situation in order to get some type of partnership. Two of cups is in the upright. So I feel like this is a partnership they want. Like they, they want this. This person has been in a karmic contract as well. The lovers reverse, princess of wands reverse. They were in a karmic contract. Maybe one of their they they want to take action to end as well. With the princess of wands reverse, princess of wands. This is like you know a wand reverse, princess of wands reverse. This is like a manipulative, lustful, immature, feminine energy. I just heard little witch bitch. Why? Because <laughs> I you know no I probably would say like witch bitch, but yeah this is like a little witch bitch you know. Which bitch junior, you know? Uh, oh, why did I hear that? Lord, uh, yeah, yeah, Prince of Swords. This is somebody like we had King, King of Swords upright, Prince of Swords. This is the same person, yeah. They want to release this karmic, uh, this, this little witch bitch. They want to let this person go because it's been really stressful. This has been burdensome, you know. I mean, I would imagine so. You've been with somebody that don't want to work, don't want to contribute, don't want to do shit. They complain all the fucking time. You know? And that's the energy I get. 
off of Queen of Wands, Princess of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody that, you know, don't do shit but bitch and moan. Bitch, complain, and manipulate. And I maybe lay on their back. I heard that. Yeah. Bust down. You know, it's all good when it's, you know, time to bust down. But I mean, yeah. It's somebody that has nothing and nothing good to offer. Um, and it's this person, they've had this person stressed. Ten of Wands. They've been hella stressed out. Breaking their back for this Jezebel. And have nothing to show for it. You're constantly giving to a uh, Princess of Wands reverse, and you're getting nothing in return. Broke ass. Person broke. Wallet drop. Pull a lint out of their wallet. They ain't got nothing to show. Five of Pentacles, broke ass. Have nothing to show because you've been giving it all to a uh, an ungrateful little witch bitch. Uh, broke ass. Six of Swords reverse. So somebody broke and they stuck in this shit. They stuck being broke. They bound them. Damn. Somebody bound themselves. Either to a financial curse or to somebody with a financial curse. Seven of disc reverse. Yeah, they made the, this was a bad investment. You know, they invested. They were sitting around, you know, invested in, you know, a little witch bitch. And, you know, was uh, waiting for some type of return. On this investment, no, that's not going to heal. You planted all of them seeds and you will reap no harvest because none of them grew. This can also talk about bad karma. This, this, you know, this lack, this broke, being broke and not having money, uh, this could be a part of their, their karma. Princess of Cups reverse. Yeah, they invested in a temperamental, jealous, codependent, feminine energy cry baby i just heard ace of dis reverse ace of pentacles reverse their life is deep I, ju I just said that too their life is decreasing they either bound themselves to somebody with a financial curse or they bound themselves to a financial curse i mean pretty much the same thing princess of cups reverse ace of disc reverse ace of pentacles reverse their life is decreasing they're receiving bad karma nothing is growing because of who they're attached to a princess of cups reverse you know Eight of disc reverse. This person could have lost a job. Or this princess of cups reverse. They don't have a job. They don't want to work. Like I said, they don't want to work. They want to take. This is a taker. They have nothing to offer. It was all an illusion. All manipulation. And they, you know, for a long time, they, they might have been fooling everybody. You know, but when everything falls, when every tower falls and all those lies and that manipulation crumble, the last thing standing will be the truth. I mean, in the collective, but you know, the last thing standing will be the truth. So this person either lost a job tied to this person or this, you know, they're talking about this, this uh, distorted feminine energy. They don't have a job and they don't want to. They don't want to have a job. Their job is, you know, creating chaos and lack for everybody else around them. Nine of cups reverse. This person's really unhappy. This person's really unhappy. This has become a nightmare. It's supposed to be a dream. You know, shit was all good just a week ago. Whole click was eating good just a week ago. You know, like, they, uh, it's a nightmare. This person's really unhappy. And the energy is so heavy. This person's so unhappy. Like, miserable. And if there is a cross watcher watching this and you are, this is your energy, please, you know... Take actionable steps to change your situation, okay? Because the energy I feel, this is somebody who could potentially, you know, reach out to somebody before you make a mistake or do something else that you can't take back. Reach out to somebody. This is not, you know, a lot of people, I get the energy of somebody who may want to take the easy way out. And it's not the easy way out. You think, oh, you just, you end this incarnation, it ends here? No! Yeah, it's going to come back and it's going to be just as, <laughs> at least if you're here, you have the opportunity to make it right. Because it doesn't just end here. A lot of people think, oh, yeah, let me just go ahead and self-delete because that's the easy, no, uh, yeah. You ain't did nothing but make it three times as hard the next time. Like, seriously, because this shit adds up. 
a lot of these people collect, collective a lot of these people came into this incarnation with karmic debt and just decided to rack up stack up on top of that like you gotta break the cycle somewhere you know do better be better treat people better treat yourself better you know somebody's really unhappy and i'm so sorry for whoever that may be uh last one out we have is ego and rejected somebody could definitely be you know they have a hurt ego somebody's hurt hurt and feeling rejected you know they, i just heard it they did this to themselves somebody did this to themselves and yeah you might have done this to yourself but don't beat yourself up okay it's not it's not over it doesn't have to be every day that you wake up and you open your eyes it's an opportunity to start fresh you know you do have to be accountable for your actions you know the shit that you did or the shit that these people did they have to be accountable you know they have to shit you know collective you didn't do none of this shit you didn't make these choices for these people they did it and a lot of them you know stomp around or you know bibbity boppity boo you know towards you when you had nothing they, they made these choices they made these these decisions it has nothing to do with you what they want to project onto you like it's your fault you didn't make you didn't tell them to be the fucked up person that they are and fucking attack a an earth angel a df that was minding their business they did this shit on their own ego and reject it to a disc reverse four swords prince of wands reverse two of swords was behind that Eight of Cups. So, ooh, and I see it. Ooh. Ten of Swords. This is somebody who's going through an ego death. Going through some type of death. Uh, somebody's going through an ego death. They feel rejected. I mean, but they, like, like I heard, they rejected themselves. I <laughs> mean... Uh, to a disc reverse is somebody who could be facing financial instability, you know, five broke ass and five of cups like, you know, yeah, they're uh, or five of pinnacles, you know, they're in an en energy of lack, you know, going without a lot of things. And this just keeps on. It keeps on popping out at me. The devil is, you know. This is an energy that they have chose to sit in. They have chose to operate in. But uh, somebody's going through an ego death could be uh, facing financial instability. This person is resting or recovering or trying to. Uh, they could be praying, could be contemplating, you know, what to do now. Like what, a, you know, this is somebody I feel like could be spending a lot of time alone. We haven't seen the hermit yet. Somebody could be spending a lot of time alone, maybe reflecting. Prince of Wands reverse. This is somebody manipulative. Might do the bibbity bop, the hocus pocus, black magic for those of you sensitive. Uh, but Prince of Wands reverse. Um, some lustful, manipulative, younger could be, uh, immature, masculine energy. And this person's stuck. They're indecisive. They don't know what to do. Even if they wanted to move forward or they had the opportunity to move forward, they don't know how. They don't know how to move forward, what to do, what to say. They're at a stalemate. Blindfolded with two swords in front of them. They can't move forward. This is like them holding themselves back. I feel like this person, they're stuck and they're at a stalemate. And feeling rejected. Because you walked away. Eight of cups. And I, for, for somebody, I feel like this is, I get the energy of somebody who never in a million years expected you to do that. Like, it's, it has them in utter, like, they are shocked. Like, what? You walked away from me? You're not going to let me manipulate and gaslight you? And cheat on you with this three-eyed heifer? And it's like, uh, no. <laughs> no, goodbye. Ta-ta, toodaloo, farewell. 
shit yeah collective you walked the hell away and this is a, a, pain, a painful permanent ending for somebody else i mean granted this was probably you at some point too they put 10 swords in your back and what expects you to stick around like clearly clearly you know clearly this motherfucker got a low iq too they broke and dumb because yeah eight of cups what's going on here six of wands reverse this is a loss i don't know what they said about you i don't know what rumors they spread i don't know what the slander and defamation was but this is potentially somebody who they did you for dirt probably lied on you probably cheated on you probably did some type of some form of manipulation on you you know and it did not work because you loved yourself enough to walk away and this is a really big defeat for this person six of wands reverse it's embarrassing it is very embarrassing this person could be humiliated they could be being shamed. Maybe they are ashamed. If they know like what they chose versus what they discarded. It's embarrassing. You know. Princess of this. What's up boo? I love. Princess of this. Uh, queen of this or uh, it's like queen of pentacles energy princess of pentacles energy um, yeah it's because you walked away this is a defeat you know somebody could be embarrassed because you walked away from them uh, maybe started focusing on your stability you know started focusing on your money got in your bag and stepped away from this mess you know the shit storm somebody tried to create for you princess of pentacles or princess of discs um uh, bottom of the deck we have the six of discs reverse which is the six of pentacles reverse uh there was a lack of reciprocity a lack of generosity there was no equal give and take in a situation which is probably why you walked away you gave to somebody you gave a lot more than they ever gave to you yeah six of pentacles there was no equal give and take so you're at you walked away and what'd you do collective you healed Three of Swords Reverse. Healing from deep emotional pain. Despair. Depression even. Like you, you know, a deep sadness. And you healed. Walked away and started healing. Nine of Swords Reverse. Got rid of depression, anxiety, sleepless nights. You stepped out of that energy. And realized that maybe, you know, a certain collaboration was not meant to, to be. Or it wasn't going to work. Three of Pentacles reverse, you know, maybe you don't want to collaborate with somebody. You don't want to work with somebody because there was no equal give and take when you tried to work with that person. You don't want to work with them now. Somebody was listening to their punk ass, karmic ass, sorry ass friends. Three of Cups, Ace of Swords reverse. And their karmic ass friends lied to this person in the past. Three of Cups, Ace of Swords Reverse, Six of Cups. In the past, this person had karmic friends and family around them. People that were in their ear. Lying, though. Ace of Swords Reverse. Lying. Lying. No truth, no clarity whatsoever. If these motherfuckers even know you, they spoke on your name. And it was all lies. And for some of you, they don't know you. They spoke on your name trash cans yeah it was some competition these people were competing with you that's over five of wands reverse and i feel like you know it's divine intervention god stepped in and called judgment the hierophant judgment followed by the devil god stepped in called judgment on all of the all of the people who carry this energy coming for you and you're just minding your business yeah this this was this was like a devil energy that was like casting an illusion they sold this person a dream seven of cups cast an illusion had this person confused thinking that you know they were going to gain some type of fortune wheel of fortune upright confuse this person when it came to their destiny their destined path what they should have been doing who they should have been investing in they confused this person put an illusion 
Yeah, this is somebody or some people that were holding on, like holding on. They made this, the illusion that they cast over this person had them holding back from you. This could also be somebody holding on tightly, like not wanting to let something go, holding back. But I feel like this energy, they, they, the illusion that was cast over them, it, it made them hold back from you. This was done by a Queen of Swords reverse. A hateful feminine energy, hateful, spiteful, vengeful feminine energy. They cast this illusion over this masculine. It's been discovered. The hermit, upright. It's been discovered. This person knows now. They know that there was a hateful witch bitch or a hateful just regular bitch, you know, that was casting illusions over them. It's been discovered. They know. I, this could have been somebody's mama. Like, ma'am, she need her ass beat. Like the pedal stumped smooth off of her brooch ass. Like what the hell? Uh, yeah, it's been discovered. It's been discovered that somebody broke free. They made discovery. They knew that they were in an illusion in Eight of Swords Reverse. You know, it took them out of a mental trap. If they were stuck in their head, not knowing what to do or not knowing what was what or who was who, they know now. Eight of Swords Reverse. Followed by the Ten of Swords. They know that there was an illusion. They took actions based on an illusion, based on lies. And although they have, you know, broken free of that illusion, they're now realizing they put ten swords in their own back. Along, I mean, as well as yours. They put ten swords in your back and put ten swords in their own. They've done too much. The energy I get, somebody did, they've done too much. And they know this. Granted, they might have felt justified when they did it, but it's like, oh my gosh. Like after they're thinking about all this, damn, everything I did. Granted, they thought that you were, you know, they probably thought you were the karmic witch bitch. You know, you were the lustful witch bitch. So they thought that they were justified. You know, when people think that they're justified or they think they're right, there's no limit to the things that they do. But the thing is, they weren't right. They were wrong. So now it's ten of swords in their own fucking back. And they did it to themselves. They lost you. The justice is they lose you. Queen of Wands. Yeah. It was Queen of Wands reverse. And I, I took it as a loss. Like, pain, it's a painful permanent ending. They're losing uh, Queen of Wands. You could be, uh, it could be any sign. Uh, Queen of Wands is Leo energy. Uh, somebody attractive. Creative. A leader. Fiery. Spunky. Strong. Attractive. But uh, Queen of Wands came out reverse. Like the, the, the justice in the situation is. They lose you. This person could have lost protection or, as well. If they had some type of divine protection. They've lost it. They're hiding this. They want to keep this hidden. It's somebody that could be getting their ass whooped. But they are carrying. They're walking around like you know everything is all good. They're walking around like they're not in deep regret, like they're not remorseful, like they're not in deep regret, like they're not in despair, like they're not sad. This is somebody whose heart is broken, but they're walking around, you know, putting on that face like these fake ass karmics like to do. Like they're the king of pentacles in bro broke ass came out. Five of pentacles came out. Two of pentacles reverse came out. This person's broke. They don't have anything. But king of discs. Putting on that face, putting on that face, wearing that mask. Like, you know, everything is all, everything is everything. Oh, I'm riding around and I'm getting it. Ah, money good over here. Uh, fuck that empress. I ain't worried about that empress, that big head heifer. Okay. Meanwhile, four of wands reverse. This person might not have a home. Could be couch surfing. They hiding it too. They lost a twin flame. They don't have stability. And that's what I get. You know, the king of pentacles, that person represents stability. But this is somebody who I strongly feel they don't have stability. It's a front. It's a fault. It's like it's a, they're pretending. They feel rejected. Four of cups reversed. They feel rejected. Yeah, because you're no longer waiting for them. You could be in swords energy. You know, being a little bit emotionally closed off towards this person. And you're not waiting for them. They expected you to wait forever. And that's the thing. Three of wands reversed. They expected you to wait. And a lot of you did for a long time. They expected you to wait for that offer. Prince of Dis. 
They expected you to wait forever, as long as it took them to come make you that offer. Three of Wands reverse. You're not waiting for that punk ass offer. A lot of you don't even want it. They fucked themselves. They really played themselves. It's sad. Yeah. You, you don't, you're not waiting on that punk ass offer from this person. You know what? You took, you licked your wounds. Nine of uh, Wands, the wounded warrior. You went through hell. A lot of you went through, went through hell. Picked yourself up, but you kept fucking moving. You went a different way. And that's what you were supposed to do. You weren't supposed to wait on this joker to come in, finally come in whenever they're good and ready to come in and make that fucking offer. You said, fuck that. You, start, you, you got tired of waiting. Now this person's stuck. The hangman. The hangman, king of cups. King of cups up in the upright. Look at what. <laughs> king of cups in the upright. You know, somebody that's uh, supposed to be compassionate, live, uh, loving, giving, caring. Uh, they're stuck, though. This person realizes they're stuck and they're forced to look at everything that they've done, everything that has happened. And this person could be realizing that they love you. Like, damn, I really love the collective. I really love that empress. I really love that empress. And I did that empress so wrong. Yeah, you did do that empress real wrong. You did that empress real bad. Ace of Cups reverse. Did that Empress so bad that that Empress don't love you no more? Ace of Cups reverse, man. Did that Empress so bad that you are not a part of this Empress's, that Empress's destiny? Ten of Pentacles, life of luxury. You know, something that maybe, you know, you, maybe you and this person was destined for at one point. They lost it. They lost the Ace of Cups. They lost the Ten of Pentacles. Because all of the lies, all of the deception, every all the thing they want to do, everything they want to do behind your back has been exposed. It don't feel good. Lost the love of your life. Lost the potential to be very, very wealthy, very abundant. All because of you, all because you lied. You wanted to lie. And who they lie on, collective? Who they want to lie on? Queen of Discs. Queen of Pentacles. You. <laughs> In your bag, out of the mess. They want to lie on you. Somebody that's loyal, committed. In their bag. Just stupid. Emperor Reverse. Somebody who abused their power. Abused their authority. Could be a father figure. A boss. This is somebody distorted that abused their authority. Abused their... Or this could be a father figure. This might be a different energy. Oh, because now, yeah, I kind of get that inheritance type of shit. Your karmic ass daddy wanted to tell lies. Seven of swords. Tell lies. Lie, cheat, and steal. Your ten of pentacles, your inheritance. Yeah, it's been exposed. They're exposed. Maybe you don't have love for that person anymore. This is a tyrant. A bully. Somebody who abuses their authority, abuses their power. Which is why typically reverse, they don't have it very long. That was the deck. Uh, let me get you some mess deck. Well, you know, I took a day or two, you know, let this uh, shift a little bit. But it's like, I strongly feel there's like, you know, there's a past person here that's like, really, they're going through karma. They're like, currently going through karma. You know, all is being revealed. You know, in some situations where this was like an inheritance, this has something to do with money. You know, the lies have been exposed. Whatever. If they went to court and they lied on you. And I've strongly been picking up on a situation where like your past person worked with your karmic family. Like they enlisted this person. You know, instead of giving you your shit, they paid that person a certain amount of money to go to court and back up their lies. They're all fucked. They're all fucked. And they all know it. It's like, damn, was it worth it? Disgusting. Let's get into the mess deck. See what we have that comes out for you. Give us messages for the collective. Spirit messages for the collective. God doesn't wait until you get crowned to acknowledge you as sons. God will acknowledge you while you're still in chains. Everybody supports you when you're winning, but God supports you even when you're losing. Bishop T.D. Jakes. Did I do these already? No. 
new 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 you're about to get a new boo baby <laughs> about to get a new boo baby new new lily allen everything is wonderful it's an old school song really old school uh lily allen everything is wonderful it's a song where she's talking about like everything's going to shit like everything in this girl's life has gone to shit but she's just kind of skipping through like everything's cool. let me think of the words Hold on. she says oh yes i'm fine everything's just wonderful i'm having the time of my life but like i said like the, the verses of the song like she's going through hell like she just lost her job her boyfriend's cheating it was like a mess it's, it's a fucking mess but she's just, you know, everything is wonderful. And no, it's not. It's a lot of people in that energy. Everything's wonderful, huh? Okay. They thought they were so clever. They thought they were so smart. They can't believe that you knew. <laughs> Dumbasses. They stupid as fuck. They thought they were so clever. They thought they were so smart. They cannot believe that you knew what their snake asses were up to the entire time. Collective. They just can't believe it. Like what? The Empress knew. Collective knew. Yeah, y'all are dumb as fuck. Of course, Collective knew. Period. God. God knew. God saw it all. Fuck they thought. Public shame and humiliation. It's the energy I got off of that Six of Wands reverse. I mean, collective, some of us went through this, right? True or not. With the lies they wanted to tell. Shit, serves them right. Return to sender. A lot of you are in your divine purpose. You know, in alignment. Stepping into your purpose. Discovering your purpose. And baby, we kept having the, the princess of discs, queen of discs, that queen of pentacles energy. A lot of you are in that. And that's where you're supposed to be. Divine purpose, follow by direct deposit. This is where you're going to make your money. This is where you're going to get your abundance. Your divine purpose is something you were meant to do. Something you were destined to do. And typically something that you love doing. Keep going. Keep going. Even if you, you know, you're still in the early, the early stages, you don't know what your purpose is. Pray on it. Think about it. You know, ask for guidance. Husband, wife. Somebody getting married. Is you married? Everyone knows that you're speaking the truth about past experiences. Many of them witnessed bad treatment or betrayals you suffered. Yeah, and they punk asses didn't say shit. These are fucking bystanders. And they're just as guilty, if you ask me. People who was there who witnessed the betrayals you suffered. You know, saw these motherfuckers doing the bibbity bop. Or knew that these motherfuckers were lying on you. And what they do. Stood by. Trash. Twelfth house. Endings, healing, closure, spirituality, solitude, karma, old age, afterlife, what's hidden, limiting beliefs, and subconscious. Uh, Twelfth house can be significant. Hmm. Any messages for the collective spirit? Messages for the collective spirit. Messages for the collective spirit. Oh, goodness. Oh my goodness, why is it there? And see, I, I got these vibes earlier. Self-deletion. Like I say, this is not the easy way out. You know, some people might think, oh, well, I'm just gonna take the I'm gonna take the easy way out. I don't wanna be judged for everything I did. Yeah, this is not the easy way out. It gets worse. Uh, organized crimes yeah maybe they did some organized crimes they didn't want to they don't want to take accountability for the shit they did they chose to do karmic cowards that slandered and defamed you behind your back will face public humiliation we had that card like i say one to run you down collective one to run us down with lies now we snatching the raggedy asses out with the truth dummies tarragon it's a herb, kitchen herb. It's used for protection. Uh, really good for banishment. You want to banish some energies, get them hoes up out your energy. Uh, it's a really good energy, uh, really good herb for that. Uh, it has some type of correlation to dragons. 
I'll forget all the deeds. I told you guys before, I have four herbs in my energy cleansing salt bath, which I will be restocking. I got you guys' messages. Uh, I'll be restocking that. But I have four herbs in there. And if I was going to add a fifth, this would be the one. Tarragon. Deities, it came out reverse. Somebody, you know, praying to some lower vibrational ent entities and deities. You know, and no disrespect to any other deities or anybody that you know, any other, anything other than God that people might worship. I'm not here to step on toes, you know, or nothing but respect to any other deities. But as far as I'm concerned, God is the most high, like the most high, tippy top. So, I mean, you know, hey, someone is addicted to your energy. Yeah, someone can get this ass whooping. How about that? Get addicted to these knuckles and they fail. <laughs> Shit, get addicted to this foot up their ass, right, Collector? See, they always playing with me. They want to stop my meditation music. See how they do. See how they do. LLC or S Corp. Uh, a lot of you might be urged or, you know, feeling guided to start a business. Do it. What are you waiting for? Especially like, you know, if you guys are guided and you, you know, you have an idea of what you want to do is something you're passionate about. Just start it, you know, figure out. That's what I did. I went ahead and just started the business, you know, really was unsure of exactly what direction I really wanted to go in. And, you know, um, I started the business just with a broad, a broad idea of what I wanted to do. Like intuitive gang, that's me. LLC, pull intuitive gang, LLC. But, um, you know, I'm still, you know, figuring out exactly what i want to do fully but you know i mean it, it encompasses a lot you know whether that's you know my bracelets my my card decks for sure um i'm doing a little bit of research on some stuff there's some other things i want to get into but i mean a lot of you have those you know you have that there's things that you want to get into things that you're passionate about I, this has been, it's been heavy lately too somebody start that business go ahead I procrastinated for about a year, you know, but I did it when I was ready. And that's the thing. Do it when you're ready. Excuse me for just a second. Okay. Sorry about that. All righty. Comparison is the thief of joy. Focus on yourself, not others and what they have. Period. Cross watcher, focus on yourself, not others, and what they have. With family like this, who needs in a period? With family like this, who needs enemies? We blood, not we blood related. And you tried to go ahead and side swipe me, get me out the way to steal a funky ass. And hmm. They will attempt to gaslight you and blame you. They will attempt to gaslight you and blame you for their misfortune. You both know that they alone seal their fate. I wish a mother would. I wish a father would. I wish a brother or a sister would. Blame me for their misfortune and the choices they made. Spiritual narcissists. Yeah, get y'all weird asses on. Risk everything for the promise of financial increase. They're screwed. I just heard past person. I just heard past person. Somebody risked everything for the promise. Like you didn't get financial increase. You were promised financial increase. And you risked everything for that. They're screwed. <laughs> New contracts reverse, mate. Y'all hear them sirens? Y'all hear them sirens? Archangel Michael in the building. Oh, uh, new contracts reverse. Maybe they're not going to get new contracts. No new contract for you. Bye bye. Karmic family. Weird asses. They so fu they so weird, man. Transmute that shit. Period. Transmute that shit. There could be a Libra and a low vibration Libra reverse. Could be a Libra and a low vibration that's sending you distorted energy, projecting some bullshit towards you because they're a clown. And they have nothing better to do. Yeah, transmute that shit. Do what you do best, boo. That's just weird. Like, seriously, get your weird ass on. 
person is about to be humbled. They need to be humble. Stop projecting towards the collective loser, lame. Meg, your rituals are going back to you. Every ritual you do, go back to you, dummy, doo doo. Because <laughs> you fucking with a brave heart. Now your ass got karmic debt up to your eyeballs because you stupid. Uh, let me get y'all some Oracle. <laughs> Woo! I got a new Oracle deck. It's the, the Citadel, a fantasy oracle. I saw it, and the cards looked pretty groovy. So I was like, you know what? Let's check it out. I'm going to give y'all two from this from the Citadel. Let's do two from the, from the Citadel here. Let me go ahead and shuffle those up real good. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying your day. You're having a good morning, a good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is for you. Okay, I'm going to reach in here and I'm just going to grab two. The thief, seizing the moment, selfishness. Not the, excuse me, not the thief. Lord, let's get another one. The fate, accepting help, guidance. Y'all want another one? I'll give you one from a different deck as well. I will give you one from another deck here. Um, let's do uh, what is this? Shadows and light. I'll give you one from Shadows and Light as well. It's a good one, Spirit. Give us a real good one. Strangely lonely, holding on way too tight. Seventeen could be significant. I'm telling you, since I started this this spiritual journey, those are numbers I cannot get away from. Seven and one. You know, 1177 or 711, 717, uh, 1117, uh, 77, 1111, 111. Just all, any any combination of 1717, like any any combination of ones and sevens. Uh, they've been with me this whole time. 711 heavy. Like my first year on the journey, I could not get away from 711. Now I see 717 a lot. Mm -hmm. 17. Okay, from the Citadel, we have the Fate and the Thief. The Painter. What the hell? It's a whole lot of stuff. What's going on here? The Tailor. The Storyteller. Where is that one? The Twins. Where's the Thief at? Where is the Thief? What is happening here? Run away, the Herald. Oh, wait a second, because this should be here, right? I don't know what's going on. Give me, bear with me a moment. This is my first time looking through this, and I'm trying to figure out. Taylor, the twins, the twins. Okay, that one was supposed to be here, but it's not here. Okay, bear with me. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's my first time looking through here, and I'm not... Okay, there it is. The Thief. All right. The Thief. A crash of pottery, the sound of angry voices. Someone laughs, another curses. You're so distracted looking to see what's going on that you don't realize your pockets are suddenly empty. The Thief takes what they want, when they want it. It started off as a necessity, but now it's an addiction, a need to take greater risks, to seek bigger marks. One day, they'll run out of luck, but it's the thrill that keeps them going in the meantime. It may seem a selfish way to live, but the thief makes their own destiny, and so do you. Grab the opportunity the next time it arises. Don't let should and could stop you from gaining fulfillment. Life is short, and sometimes you need to put yourself first. Oh, this card, this takes reversals too. I don't know if either one of these was reversed. I think the thief was reversed. It came out reversed. I'm going to read that as well. For whatever reason, you found yourself in a situation where you're hoarding resources for some unseen future disaster. Material wealth favors even friendships. You're holding on to everything with an iron fist. What's making you feel so insecure about your life that you need to prepare for the worst? Assess those feelings. You should also let yourself enjoy some of what you've been holding on to rather than saving it all for a rainy day. 
message the thief yeah this one takes uh reversals as well okay next we have the fate the fate um okay the fate the court garden stretch out before you, alive with the sound of bird song. A couple passes in the distance, their laughter faint and cheerful. The sun, encompassed in, in its blue sky, warms the world around you. All is peaceful, and yet you feel as though you are being watched. The fate sees everyone, sees their lives like shining threads, weaving the tapestry of life. The fate sees each other's or excuse me, the fate sees each person's beginning and when and where their stories end. They're sworn not to interfere when those threads get tangled, but they can still offer some insight here and there. Some unexpected help is due to come your way. You may not be able to see what causes your struggles or know of those who plot against you, but others can and they won't let you face it uninformed. This guidance may come from an unexpected source, so look out for signs that will guide you in the right direction. Baby, accepting help and guidance. And I welcome, I welcome all of that. Any, any guidance, any, uh, help and guidance, you know, especially, uh, unexpected help. Because like they said, you know, you may not be able to see what causes your struggles or know those who plot against you. Cause they're always in the fucking shadows, fucking cowards, you know, throw rocks and hide their hands. They never want to, you know, say it with their chest. They always want to work against you secretly. So yeah, you know, welcome that help. And that guidance that's going to let you know, yeah, uh, that's the snake pool. Collective, that's the snake pool. Get away from that one. Snip, snip, pool. Uh, yeah, those are good. Um, okay, from the shadows and light. Strangely lonely, holding on way too tight. I open right on the page. Look at there. Look at there. All right. About strangely lonely. This sweet and defiant being holds fast to her Celtic or her Celtic cross clutching her belief system because without it she is not sure who she truly is perhaps it was given to her by a beloved perhaps it represents her family a loved one or aspects of her soul but the reason she holds on so tight is that she is lonely and has yet to connect with her soul family on a day-to-day -day basis there are times in your life when you too may be surrounded by people even those you call friends but you still feel extremely lonely amid it amidst it all as she does you may feel like you need a barrier between yourself and the world as she does there is a sense that you feel too strongly your individuality and that you are lonely as she is too strangely lonely speaks you are holding so tightly to something that is proving to be a barrier between you and others which is why you feel so alone at times at present you may need to open up just a little and admit that you crave like-minded people around you this does not mean people who do the same things for a living as you. It means people who speak to your soul. You're craving a metaphysical and mysterious discussion. And you've got some questions that truly need answers or at least an expl explanation. It's time to consult oracles, the ones that we find when we seek out friends who tell us what they see and not what they think we wish to hear. And what you are likely to hear is that you must let something go. The divination message. One dilemma with living in a world you feel you must protect is that you fear other people intruding on it, disturbing the delicate balance, so you hold on tighter to whatever you have or whatever you feel makes you you. The truth is, your inner world is richer than most, and it's an imaginative paradise or hell, depending on your state of mind. When you receive this card, please let go, just a little, and notice how this gives you room to interact and engage with loving others, and this therefore helps you recreate your world anew. It is likely you would choose carefully who you allow in, but at least one person does need to be let in, and at least one security blanket needs to be shown the door, just for the moment. Strangely lonely, holding on way too tight. I know that resonates for a lot of y'all. It, it resonates for me. Especially uh, when they said, uh, one dilemma with living in a world you feel you must protect is that you fear other people intruding on it, disturbing the delicate balance. Babe, period. I don't want nobody coming around me that's going to, you know, mess with my peace.
disturb my balance, you know, mess with my flow, anything I got going on. Like, stay away from me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, keep y'all weird karmic asses to the left, to the left. Uh, and a lot of you might feel the same way. Like, you know, they said you fear you that you may fear other people intruding. I don't necessarily fear other people intruding on it. I just want to prevent that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all weird ass is on. You know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like they say, you know, um, we gotta let something go. You know, we're uh, loosening the reins a little bit. We gotta let somebody in. You know, which I mean, you know, I'm, I know, like you know, most of you probably have. You know, a select few. You know, as do I. It's a select few. They were carefully chosen. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that was a good one too. That was a good one too. Resonated definitely. Uh, that's all I got, fam. I'm going to close this reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there was some confirmation, some clarity. Maybe you could put two and two together. Uh, maybe it made for a good story. You know, maybe you just want to spend some time with your little big brother. Uh, you know, and I love you for it. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I love you guys to the moon and back. Collective energy is the best. Uh, to anybody who's donated to the channel, thank you guys so much. It's a really big help. You guys see I'm getting new decks. Um... Thank you to any of you that donate. Thank you so much. Um, it means a lot. It helps a lot. And I love you. Uh, to anybody that would like to donate, the links will be in the description box of this video. Um, to anybody who would like to support the Etsy shop, the link will be in the description box of this video. Uh, there are a few bracelets left. Uh, bath salts are coming. I went ahead and got the jars because I said in my last video, I was like, if you guys tell me you want them, then I'll go ahead and I'll keep, you know, offer. I'll keep, I'll make them available. So yeah, you guys said you wanted them. I'm going to make them available. Uh, give me a day or two and they will be restocked. Um, I'm still waiting on another stone for Earth Angel. That one will be restocked. Uh, thank you guys so much that have been supporting the Essie shop. It means a lot. I love you so much. Thank you. Uh, to anybody who gives me those energetic donations, those likes, those comments, those subscribes. Thank you so much, fam. It's a really big help, and I love you. Um, I want to send you guys an abundance of love, light, healing vibes, peace, protection, prosperity, success, faith, gratitude, everything great. You're so worthy. You're so deserving. Don't ever forget that. Um, as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and this has been a reading for the collective. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>